my name is Maddie and I am a beauty lifestyle YouTuber here on YouTube. So for this week's video, I decided to do a little playlist live tips and tricks video for you guys since I know a lot of you guys may be going to playlist live or land notes like I will be attending. So I just want to share my little secret because I I think this is I want to say this is my third year going. So, um, I kind of know the ropes a little bit and wanted to share my thoughts and, and yeah. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get straight on into this week's video. The first thing that I'm going to be talking about, talking about is clothing. So, when you are at Playlist Live, make sure you have a bathing suit for the pool party. This is going, I was probably like a really obvious one, but definitely make sure you have one if you want to go into the pool at the hotel, because why not? Um, the next one is having multiple outfits. I definitely suggest, 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 you know what I mean, I can't speak right now, but um, definitely suggest um, bringing multiple clothes if you want to take pictures, or if you do want to have an extra pair for backup or, you know, things like that. So, I definitely will be having multiple outfits for photo shoots and pictures and, um, just stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, next, I recommend having comfy shoes. So, Converse, um, Nikes, um, I'll bring those. But, as well as if you want to dress up a little bit, one year I did bring heels. Um, which I'll probably do again this year for one of my outfits and I'll probably be wearing. I'm still deciding and taking out those. So, yeah. And I know this might be like kind of an obvious one, but not at the same time. Is just to turn on your playlist live notifications for both Twitter and Instagram if you have them. Um, definitely would recommend because sometimes they will post updates, they'll post on um, different events or things even prior to the event. They will be posting um, ticket coupons and things like that. But for the event itself, they will be posting updates or just different um, things that they maybe have going on and reminders about things. Definitely recommend having your creators' notifications on, or um, like any big creators that you expect to be there, or all the creators that are on the playlist list of people to come, just so you kind of know. Because sometimes they will do spot like on spot meetups to be like, hey, meet me by the Starbucks or something like that. So they'll kind of do updates and be like, oh, we'll be by the pool. So some creators like to do this, so I definitely recommend doing something like that, as well as maybe if they're live, you, you know, can actually talk to them, and sometimes they will um, be live and you be able to see kind of where their room is, or something, and you can be able to swim to their balcony or something like that. And yes, the creators are all in a separate um, section of the hotel that you have to have a special, you have to have like a, a specific key to get into that area on the North Tower, so nobody will be able to go to their rooms, but, yeah. The next topic is to do your research. I definitely suggest doing your research on the creators, so you kind of know what videos they are, and, ex like, the videos that they create, and as well as before you meet them, so you can kind of have something to talk about, talk about a favorite video that you have, or just something along those lines, it's a lot easier than just because, oh hey, can I get a picture with you? Because it's just going to seem weird, you're not going to be able to have like that really that conversation with them, and you actually, you know, might find something of their content very interesting and fun, and a lot of creators do vlog for these events, and I actually have been in a few vlogs myself, um, creators have filmed during meetups and all this kind of stuff, and sometimes you might be able to end up being in one of them, you never know, but definitely recommend, um, just doing research, so following your favorite creators, if you aren't already, which most of you guys are probably already doing that, but just things like that. Do your 
research definitely on the meetup, um, on how they're supposed to go on my playlist, on the website they have, like, how their meetups normally go and things like that, which, for me, in past experiences, yes, you're guaranteed to get there and get in the spot for that. You're guaranteed to have a spot at that meetup, but I definitely, uh, like, I suggest if you don't want to waste, like, three hours or so waiting for creators, um, then I would try to get there early. Um, for me, there is one meetup that I always end up going to the later part of it, like, I get there, like, towards the end. Um, just so I can sit back on the farther seats and I don't care about waiting for that meetup just because I actually want to talk to those people because they're my friends um, who are at those meetups. Um, so I always get the meetups just so I can actually have a conversation with them. And um, I can, one of the kids, I always do a special tradition picture that we always take. Um, so I just want to make sure I have enough time to get to do that and I don't get rushed. So, it also does very depend on um, if you're going to be looking for a specific style of picture to take. Um, kind of gauge that on, you know, how you want to be in the line. So, yeah. Um, do your research also on how the whole event goes, um, what goes on, what things are included in your passes, and stuff like that, because sometimes... For me, I'm gonna, I have the Insight Pass, so I will be having panels, but there are also panels for, um, like, everyone to go to, and the Crystal Stage and the Ball, like, all of these other rooms where they have all these other different panels. I know for me, there's going to be special panels um, that I'm going to be going to because of the pass I have, but make sure you just check out um, how normally the event goes. Um, just basically check up on how the event goes, um, see what they normally do for, like, the Saturday night where they have their little party, and just stuff like that, definitely would recommend. Um, just kind of getting a little insight just before you go there, um, you kind of know what you're getting into and kind of what to expect rather than being kind of out on the loop of not knowing what to do. So when you are on the back side of the area where you actually have to have the passes to get in, this is where they have some food trucks, they have um, more of your main stages and your ballrooms, um, where all of your meetups end up taking place, and your most of your panels are going to be. Um, and this is a general area where you may see creators that aren't big, in a sense of they're not going to be big for the meetups or like the meetups themselves, but they may be walking around. So definitely, if you have the passes, you may be able to get over there and see some of those creators. Friday night, um, the creators are normally roaming around Thursday and Friday, just because the event actually hasn't started yet. Most people come on Saturdays, but some of the creators get there on Fridays and Thursdays. So definitely, if you are a local like I am, um, I actually am going to be heading over there on Friday morning, and I'm going to be spending the whole day there Friday. But definitely. Um, this is kind of a chance to actually have a conversation with these creators because they're normally not going to be mobbed and you're not going to have to worry about all of this stuff going on. Um, there also is sometimes big groups, like last year we followed this really big group that was we were all jamming the music and just like, so kind of find your clique um, or find just a group to hang out with. Um, always, I suggest going with people that you know, or, um, kind of try to make friends that are going, because, you know, it's not really the best to go alone, I feel like, I'd rather have somebody there that you know, or feel comfortable hanging out with.
Um, also on Friday, um, normally towards the afternoon portion where a lot of people start to come in to check into their hotel rooms and kind of get ready for the event on Saturday. Um, there are a lot of creators that tend to be by the pool. A lot of them will go up to the creators only spot um, by the DJ. But um, it does vary, but I have met um, Shelby Church. I have um, some of my friends who are famous. I have seen it down there, as well as just a bunch of other YouTubers. I was actually walking around one time waiting for dinner on Saturday, and I had met, um, I had had a meetup that morning. I met those same YouTubers that night. Yeah, that night I was waiting for dinner. I had like finished. It was the night of the pool party, and all the creators was going over to the um, creator area by the DJ, and I was actually able to meet these creators, so a lot of them tend to go right around the pool area, so definitely try to just go around there, but act calm, don't start mobs, don't scream, don't do any of that stuff, because that stuff will kind of not be good, and it will just cause a lot of chaos, and you won't actually be able to talk to these people, and they'll have to be escorted, and it's just not fun for anybody. So leading on to the next topic is about the creators. Um, don't be pushy, loud, or aggressive. Um, these will actually cause them to be escorted and you won't be able to actually have conversations with them. Things don't run smoothly and it just causes a lot of chaos for everybody. And some people have actually gotten put on like room band where they're only allowed to be in their rooms. They can't go anywhere just because they've gotten mobbed so much. So definitely, if you want to see your, the creators, just give it time. Um, don't be too rushy or pushy. Um, yeah. Um, talk to them as if they are human. Don't. Um, I mean, yeah, you can be like, oh, look, I follow you on social media and this and that. But what I recommend is just to have like a normal conversation with them. Um, they're human. They, you know, they understand, and, I mean, they're not going to get mad at you or anything like that, so, definitely just, they're human, so yeah, um, and you will have to have your badge at all times on you, because you actually get in trouble, if you don't have your badge on you, you can get kicked out, um, I definitely recommend taking advantage of panels, which is going to be my main goal for this year. I really want to go ahead and take advantage of these panels because they give you some really good insight information and just some topics that maybe you want to talk about and you want to know and you will be actually able to see some of your creators. Um, a lot of these creators are on panels as well. So if you can't go to their meetups, try to go to one of their panels. Um, I know after one of the panels, they actually like t took pictures with the people that were there. So definitely going to panels is always a good thing, and you find out really good information. Um, keep your eye out for creators, but don't chase them. Not chasing them, not screaming, not doing any of that stuff will, like I said, make it a lot easier. They'll actually be able to talk to you and not feel so rushed. Um, so I definitely suggest just keep your eyes out, but don't be loud about it. Um, next thing is food. Definitely, if you're going to be staying at the hotel, bring some snacks. Definitely keep some snacks in your day bag, which I'm going to talk about in another video. But definitely suggest bringing food as well as, um, I know you can buy pizza there. Um, you can, there is this, like, food court cafeteria area that you can eat at, which sometimes you can find a lot of creators there. I actually have found a few creators there, had conversations with them, things like that. But just be very natural. Don't, you know, don't figure out. Trust me, I met Carly Steele 
um, right by over in that area, had a full on conversation with her, um, but it was just, you know, it was great, and you get to meet all these people that you don't normally get to have conversations with, so definitely suggest walking around a lot, because that will actually increase your chances of meeting people, and yeah, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and you got some insights on some new things that you may not have known for Playlist Live or kind of what to expect, your tips and tricks of do's and don'ts. And yeah, so anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.